Hello and welcome to the Growth Podcasts. Here is your host, RJ. It's good day to all our listeners on our various podcast platforms as well as to you, our dear viewers, who are watching this podcast on our YouTube channel. And I want to take this opportunity to invite those who are listening to this podcast to also subscribe to our YouTube channel where you are able to see my ugly face as well, if that is what you want to see. You know, so much has happened in our lives over the past uh, few years. <laughs> it really is a few years, you know, and a few months. Much has happened to disturb our lives, to disturb our peace, to the robbers of our joy. So I've given much thought of this and I thought to myself, um, what can I do to contribute to helping you navigate through this period of time? And I was thinking of you know, peace, inner peace, experiencing inner peace. I am in this beautiful country of China and there's so much that happens around here. It's so nice to see the seniors walking around doing exercises. And you know, I don't want to go into the politics. It is really a very, very beautiful place to be in China. And it gives you really that inner peace. When you look around you, the ancient places that you can go and visit, you know, the historic sites gives you a deep, deep peace. And today I want to focus on inner peace, experiencing inner peace. Isn't that what we all would love to experience consistently as we go through this life, as we weave our paths through everything life gives us? Isn't that what we want? Inner peace. The good news is that it's far simpler to attain than many of our outer material or physical goals. The bad news is that simple isn't always easy. Attaining inner peace is not easy because it means replacing old habits with new and that requires dedicated commitment. But the benefits are absolutely worth the effort. Ask me, I've experienced it and I'm still experiencing it. In a peace gives you the ability to live your life with a sense of happiness, satisfaction, and fulfillment, which is not disturbed or influenced by outside events, by things going on around you. How do you acquire inner peace? Well, it's simply living your life your own way, not how others think you should. This is very, very important what society dictates. By not worrying about what others think of you. We all judge others positively or negatively to our own values. But if we try to live our lives in a way which honors somebody else's values rather than our own, we'll always have a little, you know, biting discomfort going on deep inside. Us. Don't live your life to other standards. The Growth Podcasts, broadcasting worldwide. To get all the free resources you need to grow your business, visit www.onlinegrowthchannel.com, www.onlinegrowthchannel.com for 100% free resources. Do you want to grow your business? Do you need to get ahead of the competition? OGC Digital can help with that. We are the go-to experts for an all-in-one solution. Contact us today. Send an email to support at ogcvideoagency.com or visit our website at www.ogcvideoagency.com. To experience inner peace, we also need to be able to forgive, to let go of guilt. 
especially guilt on yourself. Let go of that. Forgive yourself and forgive others. That is a very, very uh, important principle. Feeling guilty about past actions won't change them and won't make anybody feel any bit better. Either you or the person whom you hurt. Move on, forgive yourself. Do what you can to put things right. Resolve to do better in the future and move on. This has been my experience. Move on. Likewise, letting go of anger or grudges will bring about a surprising sense of peace. Letting go of anger and grudges. Just think about it. How does holding on to these negative emotions help you? And do you think they hurt those against whom you hold them more than they hurt you? Think about it. Let go of anger and grudges. Forgive yourself. They won't hurt others more than you. Not at all. They are your emotions and you are the only person whom they can harm. These emotions can harm. Of course, I know, it can be very difficult to forgive someone who has hurt you. I know that from personal experience. But what I've also come to realize is that most people don't deliberately sit out to hurt others. Most people, not all. And those who are, are deeply unhappy themselves. They've got issues themselves. The motivation behind their actions was most probably some kind of fear. And this is very interesting. Fear against you or whatever, rather than deliberately wanting to cause a hurt or pain. That's why some people hurt you. And if you think of this in that context, it's easier to let go. And with a little bit of practice and forgiveness, you may even find yourself getting less annoyed or angry with people in the future. You are listening to The Growth Podcasts. Are you interested in doing an online tourism business course? Please visit tourismbusinessonline.com, tourismbusinessonline.com. For affordable and quality websites, visit www.ogcwebsiteagency.com, www.ogcwebsiteagency.com ogcwebsiteagency.com Visit www.ogcvideoagency.com forward slash shop for professional logo and amazing social media advertising designs www.ogcvideoagency.com forward slash shop When you can shrug off things and not take things personal, it's really about them. And if you focus on it, it's really about them and not you at all. You will have a greater sense of inner peace. You can shrug it off. Say it's not about you, it's about you. Our happiness is determined by how we think about the events in our lives rather than by the events themselves. Remember that events in our lives, how it affects our lives. Take charge of your thoughts and you take charge of your emotions. It's as simple as that. You know, to achieve inner peace, you also need to let to go of worry. <laughs> That's another tricky one. You know, worry is similar to guilt. Very similar to guilt. Worrying about what might or might not happen is completely unproductive. Really, and it totally destroys your ability to enjoy the present moment. It takes away the present. The great shame that as the present moment is all we really have. A year and a now. That is what we have. 
So how do we learn to let go of worries, guilt and anger? Now, well, the first thing is to become consciously aware of what we're thinking whenever we feel worried, guilty or angry. Let's become aware. Notice what's going on in your inner dialogue and acknowledge that it's your thoughts or the external event that's causing you to feel the way you do and not the event itself. You become more aware of it. Then, when you are more aware of it, then reframe your thoughts to reflect what's going on around you in a more positive light. You have that power to reframe. Whenever you catch yourself thinking the old thought, the you know, negative thoughts, banish it immediately and replace it with new positive thoughts. You are listening to The Growth Podcasts. Visit www.ogcvideoagency.com for high-quality short videos to market your services or products on social media. www.ogcvideoagency.com No one can create negativity or stress within you. Only you can do that by virtue of how you process your will. That's what Dr. Wayne Dyer said. Experiencing inner peace will take a lot of practice, but with patience and persistence, you will develop a light inner dialogue that promotes a feeling of well-being and inner peace. And the world will feel like a far better place to live in. Go on. I encourage you to explore and experience inner peace. That brings us to the end of this episode. Please like or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and podcast platforms. The Growth Podcasts is broadcasted once weekly every Thursday at 3 p.m. Beijing time, GMT plus 8. Until next time, please stay safe and be blessed. Till we meet again.